morning football celebrates honors tonight. We'll find out who will win the NFL MVP at NFL Honors. In the spirit of that, we each wanted to give out a good morning football MVP, a G MVP, if you will, mm -hmm. a person, a team, a coach, somebody that sort of encompasses something that captured our attention all season long. I think a lot of people are going to think the MVP should be Todd Gurley. I'm going to give my G MVP to Sean McVay, the coach oh, yeah. that you mentioned at the top of the show. This is an offense that he came and took from the worst in the league to the first in the league in the regular season. You saw Todd Gurley completely reinvigorated. Jared Goff, people thought was a botched draft pick. Yeah. He was a Pro Bowl quarterback mm. this season. This team was back in the playoffs for the first time since 2004, and there's a lot to do with a guy that we met a year ago at the last Super Bowl. I knew he'd add a spark to this offense and this team, but what he did was beyond impressive to me. I like that. Well said, Kev. All right, Kev. It was awesome. I want to stay young, and I feel like our show, we try to celebrate personalities, characters, and there was a gift from the football gods this year, and his <laughs> name was Jalen Ramsey. He's yeah. my team. Yeah. Forget it. Guys, forget how good he is on the field. The stuff he does in the locker room at the podium, it's just a joy to watch and listen to. Take a listen. We going to the Super Bowl, and we going to win that I told him almost every play that he was weak, that he was soft. I told him that his time almost up. Who? Man, y'all gotta stop doing that, man. In the media, y'all do that too much. Y'all be hyping people up. Nah, ain't no positives and no L's. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, people. Jalen Ramsey's everything we celebrate on this show. He's a personality. He's also a first-team All-Pro. He's got a great future. I can't wait to watch and listen to that guy. My you man. said keep it young, and the football gods giving us gifts. Well, how about the gift of Deshaun Watson? <laughs> okay. The quarterback with the Houston Texans. My man didn't even play in the first half of the first game, came in the second half, made immediate impact. Check this out. The league leader in passing was Russell Wilson with 34 TD passes. Deshaun Watson had 19 through his first seven games, the wow. NFL record by a rookie. So imagine if he had to play the rest of the nine games, he might have had 40-plus TDs. That's leading the league. I can't wait to see this young man next season. That dude lit it up, and so did one of our best friends of the show and the future of the league, Carson Wentz. Let me talk about it, all right? We see him last year at the Super Bowl. We know he likes to hunt. We take him hunting for the mighty Schrager monster. <laughs> Not necessarily the favorite segment of Peter or Peta, but he did nail it. Then we see him at the draft. We recreate one of his viral videos. He does a paper toss over his shoulder onto the steps of the draft, nailed it again. And lastly, we do our segment here called Fantasy Generator. You give us some ingredients, we'll give you a fantasy name. You like 90s music in the Rams? You're Spice Gurley. <laughs> we did one for Carson. We know he likes hunting, Philly, and North Dakota. So what was his team name? It's always Venice Sunny in Fargo. And he loved it, and we love him. That is our guy, Carson Wentz, GMVP. We all pick the young guys yeah. around the league for our GMVPs. So what a season Loaded. it has been. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining. Good Morning Football celebrates on.